Okay. Uh, greetings, Gary Queens, and all those who are watching. This is Fox Gamer 396 so I am making out another YouTube video. Jeez, the camera's been centered on me. Uh, anyways, uh, well, as you can imagine, we are now playing Call of Duty Vanguard. <clears throat> and what an exciting time it is. Um, also, you may notice that I have coats and uh, new browse. Trying out some new stuff. So, let's dive into this. Now, uh, unlike the previous two Call of Duty games, uh, I'm not sure if this is going to be uh, a full run all the way through. So, I play with part one just in case uh, it's not. And you know how it goes. Now I'm going to have this safe area. And uh, it's also different because this time I'm going to be using this. So instead of doing a full run through with the controller, I'm going to see what it's like with the keyboard because I actually did uh, give this a try. Uh, Actually, they gave this a, a go um, earlier when it first came out, but unfortunately, I didn't have enough time to do full gameplay, so I just tested Walter to see what it was like. And wow, <laughs> the graphics are something else. Um, also, funny thing uh, for those of you that are fans of uh, Critical Role and haven't seen the uh, trailer for uh, Vanguard. Um, one of the cast members of Critical Role is uh, the face and voice of one of the characters in this game. And uh, for those of you who are watching who haven't uh, seen Critical Role, I do recommend seeing it. It's a D&D uh, <clears throat> stream on Twitch, and it's absolutely hilarious. Uh, campaign. Before I start, that was close. Now I'm going to turn the opacity up to uh, half, because I do want you to see the subtitles, which it's actually not that difficult, but you know. Anyways, um, let's go down. That's so cool, I didn't even notice that. Now I'm going with the uh, circle minimap lately. I'm not sure why. I guess I like the style because it actually feels like, you know, when you're rotating. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Really? sensitive come on I'm one of the non-sensitive millennials uh, well we're going to the cat pace and I've done this before on keyboard and mouse so I should be able to get a handle of it um, now I set the uh, settings up now because this is what happens as soon as I click it jumps right into the game Germany, the final push into the heart of darkness. The SOE had recruited the six of us under my command for one reason to retrieve files on the top secret Project Phoenix, the last gasp of the Third Reich. A coalition of Allied commandos thrown together and aimed at where our enemy was most vulnerable. 
This was meant to be our first and only mission. to mention this um i'm trying my best to keep as silent as possible because this is actually a new headset so as you can see no cords and the mic is the most sensitive mic i've ever worked with and possibly aside from this <clears throat> that's all i want to say Think we can pull this off? If we secure the train, we have a chance. Who's going first? Novak, you have a go. Everyone stay close. Novak, by the way, is I'm assuming I play as, uh, well, at first I assumed I played as someone who was Czech, because the Novak is the Czech name. Hey, stop! Ah. Fucking hell! I'll cover you from this boxcar! Remember, I don't want them to see us coming. They can't see anything when they're dead. Take the roof this time! Heads up! We got trapped!
Sunday dinner. Okay, maybe I should check the uh, controls <laughs> because clearly the uh, on the keyboards, uh, movements, basic jump, swivel, crouch, bend, jump to the other side. I didn't hit exit. Okay, I'm hitting C. I don't know what's going on. So, yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay, fire weapon, aim down sights, previous weapon, yes, lethal equip. Ah! Why? Fire! 
Cease fire! Shit. your uncle. Fuck me dead. Now that we've been properly shot at, might the officer in charge tell us what the hell we're doing here? That submarine base is our final stop. 
Once we're in, we move to secure the objective. He wants us to secure it, but you won't tell us what it is. Kingsley's been dancing around that since the get-go. This ain't just another Easter egg hunt, is it? Yeah, mate, what's the bloody story? We don't quite know. You mean the SO fucking E doesn't quite know? You know what? I'm gonna go pull the bricks. All we have is a name. Phoenix. <laughs> oh, so we got no idea what we're up against. That's the mission. To find out. SOE says the Krauts are moving something big out of Germany. Could be a document stash. The holiest of holies. We are here to pinch it. If this is so important, why did they not send an army? They did. The six of us. Mate, we're not from the same army. Hell, we're not even from the same continent. Quiet! Get back! Why were we chosen for this fucking suicide mission? Brass handpicked six specialists to hit the crowds fast and get away clean. An army can't do that. Too loud. Too slow. Which is right. They won't see us coming. In and out with those papers before they know it. Do we understand the plan? I shoot Nazis. They die. That's my plan. The entrance is past the rail, just across these tracks. Let's get those papers before Jerry's any wiser. I'll cover you from this boxcar. Look for the command room. This must be it. Jackson, get the door. We 
missed a hell of a party. Looks like they left in a hurry. Phoenix, we must be close. Not for long. Crowds are moving their stash onto a sub. You see that lot lugging that chest? I bet you London to a brick that is what we're after. So what are we waiting for? Time to bring the heavy stuff. Now we're talking. Wait. We can't go in loud. Arthur? Whatever's in those papers is the best kept secret in the Third Reich. And the crowds kept them here. In the arse end of nowhere. So what? It makes no sense. It's like leaving the crown jewels on the front porch. With hardly anyone watching them. The entire German army should be guarding this place. We're not the only ones who don't know what Phoenix is. You're saying Nazis are keeping secrets from Nazis? I'm saying the ones in charge of the secrets are the most dangerous. Yeah, that's why we brought the guns. To shoot them. Are we done here? Those papers are about to piss off out of Germany. You three, take the catwalk and make your bloody noise. Buy us time. Webb, no back here with me. We'll take the boat. Let's go. We're close! Okay, I see him! Our squad are on the catwalk! I see them! Watch your fire! Richard, watch our backs. No back. You take the lead. Let's find that crate and get out of here. Fly straight ahead. Watch for ricochets. We have. 
have to stop the sub! Hurry! Can't let this thing die! Get back! Get back! Clear. Fuck! In the back! Got to be the command room. Let's get that hatch open. Stay close. Tossing grenade. They're down. Moving. There's the box. Novak, got a safe cracker. Do the honors, will you? Arthur, the sirens have stopped. That can't be good. We gotta move. Now, Novak, help me. An eye. Rectangulus. Australia. And also. You. Get on with it. How delightful. You think you're British? A Cambridge man, through and through. So, you know better than to ruin a man's evening. Beethoven's Fort Sonata has exquisite, but demanding passages that deserve my full attention. Unlike you. Does the Negro give orders in English too? And do you follow them? Sie wissen, wie es ist, von einem schwarzen Befehler entgegenzunehmen. Er spricht auch Deutsch! <laughs> <laughs> Please, proceed. Your Rhineland accent. You must be from Neustadt. During the occupation, you saw French soldiers who look like me carry guns in your streets. Marry your women. That's what I hear when you speak German. <laughs> Charming. We thrashed you once. Hear those bombs? That's us thrashing you again. Thrash. <laughs> Thrash. What an interesting choice of words. I told you already. Get on with it. Yes. That's what you want. To sacrifice yourself. To be a, a leader. I am not here to give you what you want. Quite a counter. Ah! Ah!
in the truck. Exactly is this Arthur's fault? This is on him and on Wade. Bastard abandoning his team. Well, you're right about Wade. If he shows his face again, I'll bloody kill him myself. Oh, yes, let's keep blaming each other instead of the Germans. Is that supposed to impress me? Relax. It does not matter. Freisinger is going to kill us all. Freisinger? The Nazi. The one who killed Novak. Old friend of yours, is he? We have history. Oh yeah, what kind Forget of Forget Freisinger. Arthur will get us out of this. What, because he's your mate? He wasn't always. But I've seen him in action. You lose men. That's war. Sometimes the only way to honor a fallen soldier is to finish the mission. But try remembering that while their blood stains your boots. If you're meant to lead, you have to learn what it's like to lose men. To have them die trusting you. And there's only one way to learn that lesson. First time I did was on D-Day.
Commander! Don't shoot! Damn you, Kingsley. We picked you as a crowd. Lucky we didn't fill you full of lead. Nice to see you, gents. Where do we stand? The captain didn't make it, so we're on our own now. I say we dig in and wait for the rest of the sick airborne to assemble. Henry said we had till dawn to destroy the artillery. If we don't, the invasion fails. So you fancy yourself the captain now? Sunup's an hour away at best. There's no time for a sit-down. Yeah, there's also no muscle and no cavalry coming to save the bloody day. The only thing we can do here is to die or try not hey, to. you two scrapping or who's got the bigger bollocks ain't gonna solve nothing. Those German casemates aren't that far away. I think we can get to them in time. So I say we take them out. The company's scattered. We're pissing in the wind at this point. You know what's at stake. You all do. This is madness. Hey, we're beyond madness. Look, I'm with Arthur. We finished the mission. All right, Kingsley. Looks like you're in charge now. Casemates and Valhalla are that way. We should get moving. What's the plan, Kingsley? Let's get a path cleared. You heard the Sarge. Clear that debris. was a mess from the off. Hey, Sarge showed up right in the nick of time. Said they're scared to death. Getting about the teeth, not like it. Lucky break. I'll take it, though. What you call this luck? Then maybe we could still shell us the shit. We'll make. Kingsley knows what he's doing. <sighs> Those lights on the cliff. That's the coastal defense battery. The bridge is well guarded and the banks too steep. We secure the bridge, then. It's our only move. You're the boss.
Take the bridge! Jesus Christ! Man, you're Keep the tower gunner! Foxing on the MG! Press that MG! We need a grenade on the MG! Deep down, he understood that and realized we were cut from the same cloth. Web went up ahead. I think they're waiting on you, Sarge. Bloody hell. They're waiting at the table up here. How's it looking, Sergeant? Let's see for yourself. Let's get you the lay of the land. Our targets are the guns housed in those casemates. And we can only get there through a horde of Germans armed to the teeth. I think you can handle taking out the lower gun. I fancy my chances. That bunker's our way in, but it's packed with MGs. It'll be a hard push. First job's getting across that minefield. But that anti-tank ditch could be useful. I've got an idea. I'm all ears. We can punch a hole through the mines with those blitzers there. And the bunker will make mince meat out of us as soon as they hear the engines coming. We're going quiet then. No engines. Bail at the last second, let gravity do the work. That should get us to the ditch, at least. Well? I love it. I think you should go first. <laughs> All right, then. As soon as you hit the ditch, get the men ready. Tommy, you with me? Oh, yeah. Drive through the minefield, take the bunker, strap some thermite to some highly explosive weapons. Piece of piss, Sarge. And you, get a second sun burning in the sky. If our ships don't see that flare, if they don't know we've won, they'll fire on the guns and risk taking us with them. Well, I don't know about you, but I think I'll take very little consolation in knowing that the fire that killed me was friendly. Don't worry, Gov. I won't forget to aim up. Truck's ready. We'll be right behind you. Godspeed, Kingsley.
to. Get out of there. Yes, sir. He's gone. He's just, he's just gone. Get up, man. Time to move. Stay at ear, sir. Thanks ever to wear them in position, sir. Wait on your orders. We're ready for orders, Kingsley. On my command, we charge. Charge! Go, go, go! Forward! Just waiting on you, boss. You take the lower case, mates. I'll take the upper ones. Don't forget the flare. Let's move up. All right, Sarge. All right, boys, this is it. You're on me. Tommy! Try get back. We need to clear the door. All right, lads. Top of you. With me. Suppressing fire now. Suppress that half track. Now.
Pushing, lads! Lights are up. I'll cover a head while you find a torch, Sarge. Bloody hell, it stinks in here. Sarge, torch over here. One down, one to go. That's the last of the thermite. Sarge, I can use your help here. Let's get up top before this thing explodes. You have the flare, Sarge? Bombardment's close. Go! Get out and fire the flare! <laughs> Sergeant, the flare! Bombardment's any minute! Damn! Flare's ruptured! You've got to be fucking joking! Where's Webb? There! Lower casemate! Incoming! Get down! I'm going for Webb's flare! Get everyone to cover! 
We need to run for it! Time to take a kid. I was just waiting for some mad bastard to come and save the day. Well, let's you and I signal our boy, shall we? We'd lost our captain, but we'd won the day. And we'd honored the memory of all those we lost the only way we could by completing the mission. You look at the soldiers under your command and hope that they can do the difficult thing, the impossible thing. That flare told me I'd been right. This is what it means to be a leader. From all the flags waving on the streets, we'd never have known the Nazis were about to lose the war. But bullies are always loudest when they're scared. And when they're desperate, they get stupid. Commander Hermann Freisinger had killed Novak. Then he'd given us a free ride, right into the lion's den. I've read the field report twice. This Allied team is fascinating. They have been captured. But it was too close. I want you to find out everything you can about this unit. It will be my pleasure, sir. You will speak of this to no one else and report directly to me. Al Hitler. What is that smell? Chlorine dioxide. They think it hides the smell of death. So, ein, ein! Ich sag der Bewegung dich! Well, this is the nicest shit all I've ever been in. Is anyone else hungry? Palina, Sienzi is all honey. Da, it's good to be back. Your vision. So, I am Hauptsturmführer Richter and. Piss off, crowd. Unless you got room service for us. And I have questions for you. How are we going to eat bloody questions? I'm the commanding officer. You'll speak with me. Even then, Richter was easy to read. Uniforms at high rank, no combat medals. Office rat. The perfect mark. Surrounded by three guards, all armed and all wankers. In all my years studying the Allies, I have never come across such an unusual unit. Kingsley, Arthur, Lieutenant, service number 25232642. I'll tell you a story. I have spoken with the Führer on exactly one occasion. He recommended a book to me, The Passing of the Great Race, by an American, a man named Madison Grant. The Führer had nothing but praise for him. Fuck Madison Grant, and everyone like him. The 
the book reveals that under extreme duress or unfavorable conditions, your people do not deteriorate so easily. In that moment, I knew what I had to do. Right to the suprasternal notch, below the clavicle. Once we had what we needed from this racist bastard, that's where I would put my knife. My plan began to take shape. We were being held in the basement of Gestapo headquarters. Around and above us was a treasure trove of classified Nazi intelligence. Project Phoenix had to be there somewhere, and Richter was our ticket. He thought he was the interrogator. If he was to be of any use to us, he'd have to keep thinking that. That arrogant Nazi in his clean-pressed uniform loved the sound of his own voice. The hard part wouldn't be fooling Richter into spilling what he knew of Project Phoenix. The hard part would be convincing the others not to kill him first. The Allies somehow knew about Project Phoenix. We must have a traitor amongst the officers. I pulled their files. Take care of them with the other non-essentials. Lieutenant Kingsley mentioned a Project Phoenix. Likely Allied propaganda. The Negro thought he was protecting his team. No doubt to prove himself. To make him their leader. The Allies must have been desperate. <laughs> he said it was their first mission. That his sixth man is dead. He's probably lying. I will uncover the truth. But there are other teams like this one. How did they learn of Hamburg? Is Tempelhof at risk of being compromised? These are the things I need to know. There's more at stake here than I'm at liberty to discuss. Just know that I'm counting on you. Herita. I understand. Thank you. So. Well, I see ten fingers. That's a good sign, at least. Now make a fuss. I'm fine. Listen. They know about Wade. They haven't caught him yet. I told him he was killed, didn't you? On the train to Hamburg. I don't think they'll fall for it, but the hope is it'll buy him some time to get us out. He isn't coming back for us. He's right, Kingsley. We can't count on that fucking drone guy. Bring out the girl. She ain't going nowhere, mate. I'll just get out of my way. Boss! Every person on this team was a hero in their own right, long before their files ever reached my desk. But to say they were strong personalities would be a vast understatement. Particularly when it came to Petrova. Have you seen my... Again? It's 
It's bad enough I have to wear this thing at all. No, it's flammable. All those years teaching me how to shoot. I'm wasted. I'm stuck in the med tent. Pastor. Don't be in a rush to fight, Dodge. Glory is worth nothing when you are dead. But this fight, it matters. You matter. You and Misha are all I have left. Hey, be nice. I'm always nice. Misha, mm. what you got there? Empty bottles? I'm training fresh partisans. Our cameras already know how to drink. These will be Molotovs. Sir. Is it wise to give explosives to civilians? Pasha, you worry too much. Not to get it done yet. Ouch, sister. That hurts. Eh, you did that well enough yourself. The plechka. Durin. Bigushka. Kazyol. Shaba. Both of you. I'm going to be late. Sit! Oh, there. Isn't that nice? A real family breakfast. Bombs and bullets. Best way to start the day. You know, you're gonna get yourself killed having that old rifle in the house, Papasha. Now who is worried too much? So, the Germans are approaching the front line. Is that where you're off to? No. They told me that's not where I'd be the most useful, so... I'm training recruits at the old post office. Must be nice. Yeah, it would have been nice to have a choice on the map. At least you get to fight! Oh, don't tell me at least! You? Watch it! You're both doing your part. Which reminds me... If any of those Ublutki get past you... You know where to send them. <laughs> of course, of <laughs> They will never get through. Never. Blin! I need to run. They're waiting for me. Nish, you're... Fox. I swear, he would forget to keep his own head screwed on without us. We really are saints. Honestly. I'll make sure he gets this on my way to the med tents. You help your country much more than you know. And you make your old man proud. We should replace your old chair. Never. It's comfy enough for me. Misha and I were so little in this photo. Seems like just yesterday. So many impressive medals, Papa. It's your mother. She always insisted we display them. It's been a while since I played this. You were a natural. Uh, I miss hearing you play. Be safe out there. You cannot believe that he's taking the chase. It would be crazy to say he has taken the
right? Seems like nobody really knows. But you, you think the Germans will push into the city? Not we are out there fighting. Milimoy, the new partisans I'm training will crush them before they get close. I believe it. Good luck out there. Olena, here to keep your brother out of trouble? Impossible. I have to stay and I have to I don't want them. Morning. Save some of our men today, huh? I will. What do you think? What do you think? He said we're all going to go, but I don't know. Nobody is leaving. Something smells good over here. Oh, Paulina, I saved the loaf for your family. Spasiba. <laughs> You're welcome. Your father has been bothering me for some Borodinsky. Of course he has. I'll come by and grab it later. Be safe at work, Paulina. Get something? You're a lifesaver. You know? We should speak of. I should be going with you. You probably should. I have more practice than any of these Red Army Tabaki. Keep your voice down. You, you don't want to make enemies here. Fine. Just don't do anything I wouldn't do. Couldn't even if I tried. My aim is shit compared to yours. <laughs> uh, it's too bad we can't trade places. I would look great in that uniform. At least try to make it back from your bomb making. One piece, several pieces, it's fine. I'm pretty good at putting people back together. No? Yes, ma'am. You've made me late again. I'll have to take the rooftops. You're gonna get yourself killed climbing around up there. I promise you can say I told you so if it happens. Now go! Go, go, yeah. Thanks. Have you been hearing? Don't worry. The Red Army will handle it. Well, be careful out there! Truck broke down. This way is blocked. Move along. Officer will assign you. She's down the other side of the truck. He's going to be all right.
Mitsistra Petrova will need you down by the first stand. Plenty of men that need catching up today. Go ahead, join the others. Oh God! Stalingrad. Now!
We've already taken Stalingrad. City is burning. <laughs> Tell Mom I'm off to save Misha. As usual.
Ist dir irgendwas Wertvolles? Wenn du mir sagst, was die Mutter hat, musst du noch nicht leiden. Ein Wertwert! Vielleicht bist du doch nicht so dumm. Was du machst, na? Bist du ihr Anführer? Wir rohmachen es nicht. Nico, russische Schweine! Steiner kommt her, um diese Russen persönlich zu verhören. Ich wünschte, wir können sie einfach erschießen!
I think they're dead! Can you cut us free now? Sistrenka, it was incredible. We're going. Now. Gospodje, I, I, I was so scared that you and... Me? You're the one tied up. Take care of the others. Olya? Papa. He's gone. Gone. Oh, no. Misha. No. Misha! No. We don't have time for this. We have to get your recruits out of here. If we stay here much longer, we're trapped. You're right. Misha, we need to get to the Volga. How do we get out of this building? Misha, focus. How can we escape to the river? There's an exit here. We could make a run for the sewers. But the Germans are blocking the courtyard. It'll be tough. Do you have any extra supplies? Weapons? Anything I can use? I know there were soldiers defending on the roof. They had the radio. There might be supplies, too. All right. I'll lay down cover fire from there, while you get our people to the sewers. With your shoes, sister, maybe you can reach the roof climbing up there. I should get you to the roof. I'll give you a boost. I'll find a good place to cover you. I know. You've always been a better shot than me. The Pasha is with me now. And I know he wouldn't want us to die in this post office to a bunch of Ubliotki. He would be proud of you. He would be proud of us. Get our people to the sewer. I'll lay them fire from the roof. Don't miss, okay? I never do. Okay, Ribiano. Once we're out on the street, stay here until Polina is in position. Polina! Polina, can you hear me? I'm on the radio. Bullet, I'm not receiving. Boy, Bosha, I hope you're listening to me for once. We are pinned down in the crater by the trolley. Polina, we'll stand for the sewer and your city. You are surrounded, Ivan! Accept your defeat!
Again, I'm sorry. Surviving Stalingrad was no small feat. Escaping, even greater. But no one really escaped something like that. The Nazi war machine had touched all our lives, burned away something important. I think that's what made us attractive to the SOE in the first place. But for Polina, the wound was marrow deep. She was destined to return the favor. And that had made her the deadliest member of my team. Such a touching story. You couldn't even save the life of your own father. So tell me, why isn't Ivan with an old rifle part of a top secret allied operation? You do not scare me, little mouse. <laughs> you misunderstand me, Fräulein. I do not need you to fear me. I need only your screams. That will convince your friends to talk. Why? Because I am a woman. You're not very good at this, are you? Tell me, what other missions the Allies have in Germany? Nothing worth talking about. So, what is worth talking about, Fräulein? Rising. Go fetch him. We'll confirm my story together. Take her back. Send me all the records on a Commander Steiner and any photographs of the Russian sniper. Lady Nightingale, yes, that one. And wait. Herr Freisinger, I was just coming to see you. We have confirmation from the woman. The sixth ally is dead. Is that so? American arrested at Tempelhof trying to steal a plane. This makes no sense. Prisoners made a fool of you, Richter. And now you have made a fool of me! The American is being brought here now. If I must interrogate him myself, then I have no use for you.
you hurt? Are you blind? Just trying to be nice. What did you tell them? We traded torture tips. Relax. I told the same lies as you. Did he believe you? I stopped asking when I brought up Freisinger. When we get out of here, the first thing I'm going to do is head to the pictures. See les trois mousquetaires. Let Edith Mera break my heart all over again. And you, Lucas? What's the first thing you'll do when we're out of here? Hey. When I get home, I'm eating lamingtons for a week. All cakes, all the time. I know what you miss. Yeah. I'd like to have that sweet bird Barbara pour me pints of my local until I forget this infernal war ever happened. I don't even know if she's still alive. Everyone I love is dead. And the only time I feel anything is when I watch a German beg for his life. So, I am exactly where I need to be. Wade showed up just as I'd hoped. He played his part well without even knowing my plan. The team had written him off, but I was counting on him being his usual charming self. <laughs> Try that again, Crowd. And we're gonna have a real fucking problem. Your team lied about you, Lieutenant. Lieutenant? Uh, now, is that so hard? Finally, some respect. I know you are the sixth man. Uh, what did you want with that plane? <laughs> you Nazis. You make me miss fighting in the stinking Pacific. Uh, uh. I want to know what else they've lied about! Wade had talked himself out of worse situations. If you heard him talk about Midway, you could tell he was no stranger to hyperbole. Every time Wade told the story, it was a little different. He added a wing of Zeros or another aircraft carrier to his tally. But I read the reports about what happened that day. If Wade was exaggerated, it was only by a little. Bro.